Gaza's health ministry says at least 40 people have now died at Al Shifa Hospital, the main hospital in Gaza. Mass graves are now being dug to bury decomposing bodies as they have no way of getting them out. As fighting intensifies within the enclave, aid workers fear of a growing humanitarian crisis. Explosions ringing in northern Gaza on Tuesday as Israeli forces back their ground operation with airstrikes. But much of the international focus remains on Gaza's Al-Shifa hospital, where the UN says patients and newborns are in need of supplies. Overnight, Israel says it would deliver incubators to the facility, but it's not clear how those would be powered. Without fuel, relief groups say they may be forced to pause operations in the region by Wednesday. All feasible precautions must be taken, including the effective warnings, which consider the ability of patients, medical staff, and other civilians to evacuate safely. Israel has accused Hamas of using hospitals as command centers. On Monday, Israeli forces released understand. this video. They say shows Hamas kind of weapons here. found in the basement of a children's hospital, oh as well as rooms no. they believe held hostages. That's against the international law. Who gives money to these hospitals? Who shares this hospital and embraces this hospital is helping Hamas effort. Meanwhile, Israel continues to open humanitarian corridors for people to flee northern Gaza. The UN says another 200,000 people left northern Gaza in the last two weeks. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu once again rejecting calls for a ceasefire until all hostages are released. We have a ceasefire. It means uh, that it's a surrender to uh, Hamas. It's a surrender to terrorism. It's a victory for the axis of terror. Israel's military says it's lost at least 47 soldiers since the ground operation began along the Israel-Gaza border.